The names of the fingers are as follows. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, sometimes called the long finger, ring finger, and small finger. Each finger has three main segments, distal phalanx, middle phalanx, proximal phalanx. The two terms distal and proximal mean towards the tip and towards the body, respectively. The thumb has only two segments, distal phalanx, proximal phalanx. The crease between the distal phalanx and middle phalanx segments is called the distal interphalangeal crease because it's the most distal of the finger creases out towards the tip. The next crease in line as you move from the fingernail towards the wrist is the proximal interphalangeal crease between the middle and proximal phalanx segments. The palm creases are named as follows starting distally and working proximally toward the wrist. Palmar digital crease, distal palmar crease, proximal palmar crease. The major crease at the wrist on the palm side is simply called the wrist flexion crease. It's formed as the wrist joint bends into a flexed position. Thenar and hypothenar are two terms that describe the fleshy mass of skin, fat, and muscle on the thumb side and the small finger side of the hand. Another critical pair of terms used when describing sides of the hand, or even wrist and forearm, is radial and ulnar. These terms are named after the radius and ulna bones in the forearm. 